Hello viewers, this is attorney Naresh Gehi and today we are going to discuss about the L1B visa. What is an L1B visa? An L1B visa is meant for people to come to the United States who have specialized knowledge in the field of endeavor. Now, a free field of endeavor is defined as a particular field in which you have special, unique and extraordinary knowledge which means in layman's terms, you are a specialist. The best way to describe the L1B visa is by means of an example. And uh, since, uh, you know, I love IT very much, so I'm going to take uh, an, uh, the inf information technology as one of my sectors. And thereafter, I'll also use other examples from other, some, from other kind of fields of uh, interest that may be, you know, useful to our viewers in India. So now I am living in India and I work for this great company in India and that company has an office in the United States and uh, they have around you know 80 or 100 people working in America and they have 300 people working in India but now the American company over here is interested in having you come over there and work for them so the first thing that should be coming to the mind of the head of the company in India is about the L1B visa or especially when you're dealing with a person of specialized knowledge. Now, there's a difference between a person of specialized knowledge and a manager. A manager is someone who's very high up in the company. They generally come in on an L1A. L1B is a specialist. So take an example about an IT company in India. You have this brilliant Java programmer. He's a software architect. He's high up in the company. And he is brilliant in what he does. He knows the front end very well. He knows the back end of the software very well. And he's into Java, MySQL, Spring, Hibernate. Brilliant. Now, the US company is working on a project which is a subsidiary of this company. And they want Mr. Rao to come to America. And this is Mr. Rao, who's Mr. Brilliant in Java. And he has this great degree and he's a problem solver in the company in India. Now, if I am the head of the company in India, I can send Mr. Rao to America under the L1B visa. Means he's a person of specialized knowledge. So you'll have to show that uh, Mr. Rao knows how to analyze, design, develop software programs using his knowledge of, of C, Java, MySQL, Spring, Hibernate, brilliant. So now Mr. Rao can come to the US on a L1B visa, he's here. It's a visa for specialized knowledge. His spouse can come here and his children can come here. But the good thing is that the person can be here on the L1B visa and after that he can keep working. And later on, if he wants to apply for a green card in America, the only difference, major difference which I see between the L1A and the L1B program is that under the L1B, he will have to undergo the labor certification process. So those are the vital differences between the L1A and the L1B. So to make a long story short, if you have this employee who's an absolute genius and he has these extraordinary skills and he has the specialized knowledge, then only you should consider the L1B program. To sum it up, you're an IT company or if you are a seafood manufacturer, or if, even if you're a garment manufacturer, you have this wonderful fashion designer working for you and you have this branch in the US wherein they need the skills of the fashion designer, consider the L1B visa for him. Let him come in, let him demonstrate his skills and tell him, listen, this is how I use the scissors and this is the style I create. Specialized knowledge. See what I'm thinking about. Specialized knowledge. It can be in any industry or it can be in the automobile, in the automobile sector. It can be in the pharmaceutical sector. It can be in the medical field. It can be in any field. So just because I take IT examples doesn't mean that it has to be in the IT sector. It can be in any field. So anytime you're thinking of the word specialized knowledge, think about the L1B. And if you have this office in America, and if you have this office in India, I think this would be a great visa for you to someone, to send someone to the US who has special, unique and extraordinary skills.